We're talking about the tree preservation action of aeration and decompaction. Uh, the root collar excavation has given us clues as to what you're going to be faced with in the critical root zone of each tree. Uh, are the roots that you're seeing from that tree or are they from the competitors around it? And we've seen examples of both that we're going to be able to demonstrate for you. Um, there are microclimates involved in every a designed ecosystem that you are going to be invited into that make it extremely important that you treat each tree or groups of trees and bushes as individuals because in today's residential environment you can have the Gobi Desert over here on one part of the yard and the Okefenokee Swamp over here on another part and you must be able to address those conditions accordingly as individuals. And so you'll find some of all of the bad three with lots of shades of gray in between. Covered in smothered root collars, volcano mulching, competition in the critical root zone, and bad advice that they've gotten from so-called qualified experts. And so as you go through these designed ecosystems, the regular home uh, environments that you're going to be dealing with, these soils are really not uh, uh, soils at all. They are geotechnical uh, mixtures of mineralized uh, rock and silt called clay. And around here we get them in all colors, red, yellow, and gray. I'm sure that you will find them in your environments as well. Sometimes different clays in the same property. So it depends on where you are. So be astute and be aware of what they are. And your um, going to combine this geotechnical mix with an addition of organic matter and that's where your aeration and decompaction uh, comes in as such a uh, important part of it. You may combine your root collar excavation with a newly planted two or three year old tree by doing the root collar the aeration and decompaction and incorporation of mulch to form topsoil all in one action and you must be able to describe these actions to your homeowner in an intelligent way. Um, we'll do this mixing and incorporation at the same time uh, when it is uh, possible for you to save your homeowner money and so the customers design intent rules aeration and decompaction is all about air spaces. It's one of the big four elements. Water, air, nutrients, and energy. It's the air down there and it's one of the major elements that your homeowners and property owners are going to be exchanging for the benefits they expect to receive from their designed ecosystems. One of the major benefits that you can tout as a result of aeration and decompaction is going to be using irrigation and rain uh, water, on site rain water, uh, efficiently. Uh, it's going to save money. It's a major line item of savings. And to support this, there has uh, been a survey. Uh, done by Total Landscape Magazine, over 3,000 respondents, 65.7% of these survey respondents said that they see increased water restrictions in their future, and 83% of them said that it is important to be green and environmentally conscientious. When you do root collar excavations, aeration decompaction, and the top soiling, which we've seen incorporated as a part of this process, you are speaking to these trends by combining the top water saving techniques on the market today. And they are very simply proper mulching, turf reduction, hear me say natural area and balancing the natural areas of big trees, plant groupings, hear me say the bad three over competition in the critical root zone, 
water collection, and this is not just rain barrels, we're talking about using your trenching techniques to guide drainage water into the critical root zones of trees when, where the trees can become a utility for your property. And of course low water use plants and this is an important aspect of many of our western environments out in Arizona and other uh, places that uh, have uh, very very critical water shortages and they're creating landscapes where uh, less water is required all of those are important the trenches that you install for your aeration and decompaction are identical to the technique that you're going to use to direct on-site erosion or drainage water into the critical root zones of aerated and decompacted trees. We have had experiences where we had major drainage problems with water draining in the backyard and flooding that have been solved by simply opening up the ground and making it possible for the trees to soak that water up. And um, the uh, combining what we refer to as the three major groups of design principles, soil, tree, and management-based strategies, making connections between the property owners and their ecosystems using the cheap to keep tree and landscape protocol is what this is all about. We use the tree's critical root zone for stormwater management and it turns them into utility. It connects the trees and the owners and other living systems together and giving the grower, uh, 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 a, uh, the owner, a direction to follow in their field observations because your homeowners and your commercial property owners live with these designed ecosystems. They see them every day and they must be given directions to follow in order to tell you what's going on so that you don't have the burden of showing up there all the time. And our TPAs are a perfect example of, of, of this when used as a part of our 10-step protocol.